Joining me, team sales agronomist for Ohio, Ryan McAllister. And Ryan, guys talking about 300 bushels. We've got to feed the world. That's going to be one of our challenges. You've got a 300 bushel challenge. What are the elements in that and what's it all about? Okay, so the 300 bushel challenge consists of basically a 30 acre field. Uh, some guys want to do, do more, but we're... Uh we're doing two Bex hybrids in that. We're doing different uh, agronomic practices that we're changing, uh, such as increasing population. Most guys, maybe four to 5,000 plants per acre. Uh, we're increasing the total amount of nitrogen and a lot of times split applying that. Uh, some guys have tried this year two fungicide applications where we know that's been popular in the last couple years. Some of them are trying a V5 to V8 application of fungicide plus one around tassel time. We've got some uh, folks doing foliar fertilization, different row starters. Uh, so those are kind of the main things, but we probably have 20 other different practices that are being implemented. Now yesterday you and I were talking about some of the, the new technologies and what's coming and behind us on uh, one of the charts is aerial photography and as you take a look at it, this particular field has an interesting story. Yeah, so we call this Bex Crop Health Imagery that's right back here. So this is about a 45 acre field and so in this field we had a test plot which actually is located right here and uh, we saw a lot of interesting things. Uh, the first thing being we've got a red area here so green's good, red's bad and we saw some root lodging early and it was actually... Let's phrase that, green's healthy, red's not healthy. Yeah, there you go. So it's, it's relative in each field. So red doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, it just means that in relation to the green something's going on. So when going over this with the grower we noticed this large red area back here, you know probably seven or eight acres in size and uh, we went out and we took a handheld computer with this image loaded on it. We walked out to that spot. We could not see any visual problems. And this is when the corn is about this tall. And so we took plant tissue tests. So that plant tissue test came back nitrogen deficiency. Although there was, there was 250 units of nitrogen applied to this field. Should be enough. But we had a limited root system. It didn't get it. So this grower went out and while he could still get across that corn, he applied 10 gallons of 28 and uh, just gave it a little shot. And we just imaged this last week, so I don't have a poster made up of it, but that red area is now green. And so we were able to go in there before we could visually see nitrogen firing and fix the problem. And so we think Bex Crop Health Imagery is gonna be a way for, for large growers especially to scout a lot of acres in a short amount of time, be able to say, okay, well this field has more problems than this one, let's go there first. And it'll be a quick way to scout, find problems, identify them, and uh, it takes some agronomic support, but we've got it at Bex uh, to help you know, in improve their bottom line. Any idea how many customers are trying this 300 bushel challenge and what percent do you think might be successful this year? Well, we've got about 125 or so participants. Um, as far as actually reaching 300, that's a good question. So no one did it last year. I think 268 or 270 was about the high. Uh, we call it the 300, but really we want to do anything we can to just raise more bushels. So, however, I have done some yield checks around Sydney, Ohio at 340. So that's early, now it's got to fill that grain. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I think someone's going to hit it though this year. And we've got guys in Illinois, but I think, I think we're going to hit it in Ohio. Ryan McAllister, 300 bushels, he thinks will come from Ohio fields. You heard it here first.